Ever pondered what happened in the first few moments when dinosaurs became extinct? Well, sit back and let's journey back in time, 66 million years ago to the late Cretaceous period, when Earth was about to experience a catastrophic event of astronomical proportions. Picture this, an asteroid about 6 miles wide, hurtling towards Earth at an astonishing speed of 20 miles per second. That's faster than a speeding bullet, and with a force that's hard to fathom. This massive asteroid was headed for what is now known as the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, specifically a small town called Chicxulub. The name Chicxulub, in the Mayan language, ironically translates to Tale of the Devil. Little did they know how fitting this name would be millions of years later. The asteroid's approach was relentless, and the moment of impact was like no other. Imagine the equivalent of billions of atomic bombs exploding at once, the energy released was a billion times more than the bombs that fell on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The ground shook violently, and the sky turned into a sea of fire. In the blink of an eye, a crater more than a hundred miles wide and twelve miles deep was formed. The sheer force of the impact ejected colossal amounts of rock and debris into the atmosphere, blocking out the sun and plunging the earth into darkness. The dinosaurs, who had ruled the Earth for over 160 million years, were caught off guard. They had no warning, no preparation, and no chance of survival against this celestial onslaught. The world as they knew it was about to change forever. So the asteroid hit and chaos ensued. But what happened next? Now that the asteroid has struck, what comes after the impact? The immediate aftermath of the asteroid's impact was nothing short of apocalyptic. The colossal energy released on impact was equivalent to billions of atomic bombs, causing a shockwave that reverberated around the globe. This shockwave, traveling at hypersonic speeds, leveled forests, triggered landslides, and ignited massive wildfires. Imagine an inferno that blazes across continents, turning the world into an ashen landscape. But the shockwave was just the first act of this catastrophic play. As the asteroid plunged into the Earth, it displaced vast amounts of water giving birth to tsunamis of unimaginable scale. These towering waves, some reaching heights higher than the tallest skyscrapers, swept across the oceans, obliterating coastal ecosystems and reshaping the world's shorelines. Meanwhile, the impact had pulverized the asteroid and Earth's crust into a cloud of dust and debris. This dust cloud, denser than the darkest storm clouds, rose high into the Earth's atmosphere. It blocked out the sun, plunging the world into a prolonged darkness, a twilight era that would last for years. The toll on life was immediate and devastating. The fires, the tsunamis, the darkness, and the cold extinguished countless species in a geological blink of an eye. The dinosaurs, the lords of the earth for over 160 million years, were among the hardest hit, but they were not alone. From the smallest microorganisms to the largest behemoths, the web of life was torn apart. The immediate aftermath of the asteroid's impact was a world unrecognizable, a world in ruins. It was a world where day turned into night, where the air was thick with dust and ash, where the once vibrant green landscapes were now charred and barren. The immediate aftermath was catastrophic, but it was only the beginning. What happens when the world is plunged into darkness? Now picture the Earth after the asteroid impact. The dust and debris hurled into the atmosphere blocked out the sun, casting a long, cold shadow over the planet. This event marked the beginning of what we now call the Global Winter. This wasn't a winter as we know it but a chilling period of darkness and cold that lasted for years. The sun's rays, vital for warmth and photosynthesis, were obstructed, the temperatures dropped drastically and the once green and thriving planet was now a frozen, gloomy wasteland. Without sunlight, plants couldn't photosynthesize. The lush vegetation that once blanketed the earth wilted and died, setting off a disastrous domino effect. Herbivores, the plant eaters, starved without their primary food source. Carnivores, the meat eaters, soon followed as their prey dwindled. The collapse of food chains was sudden and brutal, affecting both land and sea life. Imagine the mighty Tyrannosaurus rex, a formidable predator struggling to find sustenance. Picture the graceful, long-necked Brachiosaurus, once feasting on treetops, now starving amidst the barren landscape. The vibrant coral reefs teeming with life turned into ghostly underwater graveyards. The oceans too were not spared. 
The darkness hindered the growth of phytoplankton, the microscopic plants forming the base of the ocean food chain. This caused a catastrophic ripple effect, impacting everything from tiny shrimps to gargantuan whales. The world was locked in a battle for survival. Every day was a struggle, every moment fraught with danger. Yet, in this bleak scenario, life clung on stubbornly, refusing to be snuffed out. Organisms adapted, evolved, and some even thrived in the face of adversity. The global winter was a deadly period in Earth's history, a time when it seemed like life itself was on the brink of extinction. It was a testament to the resilience of life and the relentless spirit of survival. So, amidst all this chaos, how did life persist? That's a question that continues to intrigue scientists and history enthusiasts alike, but that's a story for another time. For now, let's marvel at the audacity of life in the face of absolute devastation. In the face of such global catastrophe, how did life manage to survive? It's a question that has puzzled scientists for years. Despite the apocalyptic conditions following the asteroid impact, life on Earth did not come to a complete halt. Rather, it demonstrated an incredible resilience and tenacity. Some species managed to survive, even in the face of such staggering odds, but how? A key factor in this survival was adaptation. Just as life had evolved to fill every niche on the planet before the asteroid, it would do so again, albeit slowly and painstakingly. Certain species, particularly small, adaptable ones, proved to be particularly resilient. Take for instance mammals. These small, warm-blooded creatures were able to survive in a variety of environments, from the depths of the ocean to the highest mountain peaks. Their size was an advantage in a world where food was scarce. They could burrow underground, conserving energy and avoiding the worst of the cold and dark conditions on the surface. Similarly, birds, the descendants of dinosaurs, also managed to survive. Their ability to fly allowed them to search for food over large areas and their small size, like the mammals, helped them to endure in these harsh conditions. Another group of survivors were the amphibians. Despite their sensitivity to environmental changes, many species managed to pull through. They survived by burrowing into the mud and hibernating until conditions improved. As the dust settled and the earth began to warm once more, these survivors slowly began to repopulate the planet. Ecosystems gradually started to recover, with plants taking root and animals returning. It was a slow process, taking millions of years, but life persisted. In every corner of the world, from the deepest oceans to the highest mountains, life found a way to continue. The resilience of life. Its ability to adapt and survive is truly a testament to the power of evolution and the indomitable spirit of life on Earth. So, life persisted, but what about the dinosaurs? So, what exactly led to the end of the dinosaurs? Let's delve into this fascinating question. The dinosaurs, these colossal creatures that ruled the Earth for over 160 million years, found themselves unable to survive the catastrophic event that we discussed earlier. Despite their size and dominance, their reign was abruptly ended, but why? There are numerous theories that attempt to explain this. One of the most prominent ones suggests that the dinosaurs simply couldn't adapt to the new conditions. Remember, the impact of the asteroid caused a drastic shift in the Earth's climate. The sky was darkened by dust and debris, temperatures plummeted, and plant life, a primary food source for many dinosaurs, began to dwindle. The dinosaurs, particularly the larger species, required a massive amount of food to sustain themselves. With their food sources disappearing, starvation became a grim reality. Another theory suggests that the dinosaurs' reproductive strategies could have played a role in their downfall. Some scientists believe that dinosaurs laid their eggs in the open. If this were true, then the sudden drop in temperature would have been deadly for these unhatched dinosaurs. A third theory posits that the dinosaurs were already in decline before the asteroid hit. Some paleontologists argue that changes in sea levels and volcanic activity had already begun to affect the dinosaurs' habitats, making it harder for them to thrive. When the asteroid struck, it was simply the final blow. Regardless of which theory is correct, or whether it was a combination of all three, the outcome was the same. The dinosaurs, once the rulers of the Earth, were no more. Their extinction marked the end of the Mesozoic Era, also known as the Age of Dinosaurs. And thus, the reign of dinosaurs came to an abrupt end, making way for a new era of life on Earth. The planet was now ready for the rise of new dominant species, among which eventually would be us, humans.